Where do you get your truth from? Rush Limbaugh, way over here on the right. Fox News, still right-leaning, but much more centric than Rush. CNN, left-leaning and yet more centric than the New York Times or NPR, way over here on the left. In this 2014 Pew Research data, it was discovered that the moderately left and right-leaning news outlets, such as Fox and CNN, about equidistant right and left of center, have a high percentage of the opposite camps tuning in and reading. There's hope in that statistic. It says that while I may be generally liberal or conservative in nature, I'm at least looking for additional data. At the extremes of the spectrum, Rush and the New York Times, not so much. My truth, as I will frequently comment, is the accurate data, sometimes referred to as reality, obscured by my filters, my prejudices, my past experiences, my knower judger rules. So when I feel what I'm listening to or reading is comfortable, that should be a warning sign. If I'm completely a Colbert fan, won't listen to Rush, and my interpretation that Trump is clearly impeachable is comfortable, then I'm not likely to be open to any new data. There is no room in my narrative for a different interpretation, and vice versa. As my favorite author, Nicholas Taleb, writes, we are most at risk when we feel the safest. This research simply queried people as to where they sat on the political spectrum, and then asked them where they get their information. That's how they knew moderately left and right-leaning folks poked over the fence a lot at each other's data sources. Not so much at the far ends of that spectrum, however. But where is the credible information? Where can I find reality? With so much extreme left and extreme right news distribution, combined with outright false and unprovable claims flying around, and media outlets wanting to get a fact out first and frequently disregarding accuracy, where does one go for just the facts? The sources at the far right and the far left of this spectrum are the comfortable sources for people who rely on them. In other words, the style and rhetoric produced by these sources matches the knower judger filters of these constituencies. It's in their comfort zone. For those who prefer less extreme positions, their sources are more centrally placed. My conclusion here is that there is no pure data source. Maybe there never has been. Every news source sells loyalty. It's what makes their advertisers spend money on paper news and internet clicks. I'm willing, however, to look at the outlets near the center, those that both left-leaning and right-leaning folks look at as a curve of best fit and come closest to the possibility of credible information. For me, that would be Yahoo News and the Wall Street Journal, with maybe a little Fox News thrown in from which to assemble my opinions. I view news from the far left and the far right purely as entertainment, and I'm comfortable with that. It's Kim. And this is another moment of clarity.